Hello friends, I'm Linda Gertenbach, a member of the Faith of Action team. COVID has brought many challenges to our Arvada United Methodist Church as we've tried to continue to feed the hungry and support those in need. But the good news today is that 15 families recommended by local schools will have an abundant Thanksgiving thanks to all of you who donated funds for grocery cards. $1,300 in grocery cards are being delivered to the 15 families this weekend so that their Thanksgiving will be truly blessed. Advent and Christmas are approaching rapidly and our Valley United Methodist Church will continue our outreach ministries. There'll be a new look for most of them. We know that you'll find one that will speak to your heart. We can't serve the Christmas Day meal at the Rising this year because of COVID restrictions, but in its place, we can make Christmas comfortable for the residents of the Dolores Project shelter for homeless women and transgendered folks. We will provide slippers for the women and a few residents who live above the shelter in transitional housing for disabled adults. There will be a collection bin at the front door starting on Monday. Just drop your slipper donations in the bin, mainly adult women medium sizes, but a few small sizes and larger sizes and a few medium men's. We'll deliver these to the Dolores Project on December 14th. Watch for more details in the newsletter and on the web. We can't have our hugely popular Christmas family dinner, but our Valley United Methodist Church will still provide gift cards and grocery cards for 15 families recommended by local schools. To donate grocery cards, find the link on the web and you can donate there, or you can send a check to the office to our Valley United Methodist Church with Christmas family gifts in the memo. If you want to sponsor a family, family, as some of you have done in the past, meaning you will buy gift cards from Target or Walmart or Big Lots for each member of the family, contact the Gurton Box at GurtonBach at Comcast.net. We're planning a drive-through Christmas distribution for the families on Saturday, December 19th, when we will hand them a quilt made by our local quilters group, the cards, and homemade cookies. A continuing ministry involves supporting the orphans in Kenya. We want to send Christmas cards and letters to the 40 orphans. We hope to have a card for each child and anyone can make a, write a letter or make a card. Just drop it in the collection bin that will also be in the front door anytime before November 30th. At the same time, we'd like to send a Christmas gift for the children. If you wish to donate for that, Drop a check off at the church or mail one in with the Kenya gift marked in the memo by December 13th. Check the newsletter for more details. A one minute summary. We will have two bins outside, one for the slippers and one for the letters. And if you want to send money for uh, grocery cards or a gift, send it to the church or drop it in the mail slot. We feel blessed to be able to continue our ministries to the outreach, even in these COVID days. We are truly still being a light in dark places as we are called to be. Thank you and blessings.